Hi everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a full foundation routine, how to get a flawless face, and I feel like I really got this routine down. It includes contouring and highlighting and just really covers the bases, especially for going out. It is the perfect foundation routine. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I am taking a primer by MAC, and this is the Natural Radiance Prep and Prime Primer, and I'm using this. It has a nice yellow tone to it, which actually gives a lot of luminosity to the skin and also holds that foundation and face makeup really well. So a lot of people do ask me if primer is that important, and I do think it's a good step to do if you want to ensure the longevity of your makeup. It's just a great idea, and it makes your foundation look a lot more smooth and just stay put really well. So foundation today, I'm using the Hello Flawless Foundation by Benefit, and I'm taking this one in beige, and I'm using that on a Real Techniques brush. I'm using that to stipple, one of my favorite brushes to blend this in with, but I do suggest really making sure that it looks blended, because sometimes a brush, can you can miss some spots or it can look pretty spotty, so make sure you just take your time and blend that out nicely, and this color is really great for me in the winter time, and I like this because it's full coverage, but doesn't feel full coverage or feel too heavy as a liquid foundation which I really like about this and this has been a recent new foundation for me so really happy about that always love trying new foundations just gonna put that all throughout my face and make sure it's nice and spread out evenly and now that my skin is all one color, we're going to give it a little more dimension by highlighting and concealing using the MAC Pro Longwear uh, Concealer in NW20, which is a bit light for me, which is good. We want that, especially underneath the eyes, to give that nice brightened and awake look. You guys know this trick. And I'm using my ring finger. That's the weakest finger, which is actually the best to apply underneath the eyes because that skin is really fragile there, so we want to just be very delicate with it. And as you can see, it just brightens up the under eye area, and it's a matte finishing concealer so that it doesn't stay put and the pro long wear line is really great especially if you have oily skin highly recommend it uh, especially underneath the eye areas it's going to stay put and not crease up on you take a sponge or a beauty blender and I like it to be a little bit damp it helps with the kind of just blending purposes and I'm going to dab underneath the eye area and just get all those other areas around my face maybe that the foundation didn't blend in as well so I'm mainly going to kind of fuse the foundation and concealer products together this just really helps give that flawless looking finish and helps um, just kind of seal the deal here so this is kind of weird guys, but I've been really liking using eyeshadow as my under eye setting powder and I take the color cream from the Lorac Pro palette, but really any sort of matte cream eyeshadow works really well. I think I like eyeshadow because it's a fine powder that helps underneath the eye and it doesn't crease up. So it's been a great trick and I haven't broken out from it, so I've enjoyed that a lot. And here I am taking the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in shade Medium, and this is my contouring trick. You guys, I have been doing this a lot in my tutorials lately, and I just can't stop because I love this trick. A cream contour looks so natural. I mean, at first it doesn't really, but once we blend it and get it going, I promise it will. But I'm using another Real Techniques brush, and it has a nice, small, kind of synthetic size brush to help you get control and really create those cheekbones and go onto the temples so the cream looks like skin that's why I love it and I also take a little bit on the nose here because we don't want to forget about kind of tanning up those parts um, so I love this and so what I did was get a shade in the concealer a couple shades darker than what I am uh, in my skin tone and it works out perfectly so this is a great way to bronze and contour the skin I decided to take a little bit of my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which does smell like chocolate if you guys have never tried this. I think that's why it's one of my all-time favorite products. What person would not like their products to smell like chocolate and to be a great bronzer? So I put this on top of my contour just to give it a little more enhancement and warmth to my face, and I just used a small brush to help me do that. Here I am taking the NYX Cream Blush in Natural, and this is a great color for a lot of skin tones. I'm taking this on a stippling brush, and I want that nice glowy cheek, but this color is so universal. It works on so many skin tones, and you are in control of how much color gets put down. I, t I barely put my brush 
in the pot, the pan and it puts down so much color so if you want a stronger look especially in the summertime when you have more of a tan then you can definitely get that look but you just want to hit the cheekbones and it's going to just bring out a nice shape in your face and look like you're just you know glowing from within which is really nice about these cream blushes oh if you guys want a great dupe for the becca highlighter i highly recommend this l'oreal paris ice latte infallible eyeshadow i love this stuff on a small brush i am taking it and it's just ultra shimmery and i always kind of like thought it looked so good on my eyelids but hey it looks awesome on the top of my cheekbones too so i really like put this stuff everywhere highly recommend it as a highlighter uh, it's awesome and it's an eyeshadow that's like goes with everything too so I just think this is like a must buy thing especially if you like highlighting I kind of put this everywhere as well so highly recommend this product it's awesome and here I'm taking the Urban Decay a very dirty looking Urban Decay all-nighter setting spray and this I think is really important to keep your makeup lasting all day long I promise this will not move if you use this stuff at the end of your makeup look and there you have it guys this is my completed flawless looking foundation routine i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did filming it you guys are so great to be here thank you so much make sure you hit the subscribe button below for more makeup tutorials and just lots more videos with me so thank you guys so much also give this video a thumbs up and comment in the section below for future tutorials so i look forward to seeing you guys next time take care bye